so a belated happy diwali to all of you so whom to start with vishal uh, can you yeah. please uh, give let's start early? with priyanka please i can see yeah. lot of people there priyanka 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 kumari priyanka did we yeah. talk in the last session i guess we did yes yeah. yes good evening ma'am good evening priyanka it's always lovely to talk to you uh, tell me what are the five things that are there in your bucket list what will you pick up and why of course if i ask you that there are five things in your, in your bucket list that you have to name what would be the five things and why very short specific and simple answers Ma'am, hello. Actually, your um, sound is breaking. Hello. Hello. My sound. Yes, you cannot Can hear me. Ma'am, ma'am. Hello. Yeah, yes. Now I am hearing you. Okay. Please repeat, please, ma'am. Sure. My question is, if I ask you, what are the first five things in your bucket list? what would you answer and why first five things in your wish bucket list okay ma'am uh, first uh, five things that uh, uh, i want to be a hr uh, and uh, after that uh, um, by order uh, i will buy a uh, one second i want to be a hr and after that uh, after that by earning i will uh, buy a four wheeler uh, four wheeler means something uh, not a specify and after that i will buy, uh, buy a house and uh, uh, make a house also uh, i will visit uh, andaman and nicobar and uh, paris and uh, uh i will uh, i will help my parents uh by by financially and uh, my help also hello yes your answer is complete yes ma'am uh, am i audible you are you are you are yes you are audible yes okay Priyanka, please tell me that what is human resource to you? What is mm -hmm. human resource to you? Um, you told me that you want to become an HR, right? Yes, yes. So the full form of human HR is human resource. Yes, ma'am. What is a human resource to you? Do you really think that a human can be treated as a resource? If so, why? uh yes it is really treated as a resource uh, because uh, uh, human resource means uh, uh, i uh, actually i don't know completely about but uh, i say something uh, that uh, um, that i uh, i will handle uh, handle uh, i will handle uh, lower level employee uh, by uh, by giving some work uh, some work and uh, uh, in a company uh, that we have to uh, we have to focus uh, employ also that means uh, their facility and uh, their problems and uh, their uh, uh, their payment also okay a just humble suggestion to you priyanka that whenever yes. you are answering and you are mentioning something in your answer a term which you do not know in detail please try to avoid it okay yes ma'am okay. if you do not know what exactly is human resource what exactly are their roles and responsibilities do not use the term as a specification of your answer because okay. please remember in interview sessions whatever your answer whatever you answer your next questions will always come from there yes ma'am your answer for now will create the 
questions for the next round to go okay okay so please keep these things in mind when you answer next vishal whom do we move yeah. next prapti please please and prapti yes ma'am good evening yeah prapti can you please tell me uh, something about yourself in two three lines just the basic yes. information that what do you do uh, where are you from and uh, why you are here with lwt why you are here with us okay ma'am ma i am prapti i am from asansol and and now i am pursuing for uh, media science from ilib and ma'am i am here to uh, gain the knowledge and to improve my communication skill okay yes, can you please tell me that what you consider as your biggest attribute what you consider as your biggest attribute uh an attribute in the sense quality strength mm -hmm. potential yes ma'am ma'am uh, ma'am i can do work with full concentration uh, whatever work assigned to me mm -hmm. and uh, i am a good listener yeah my next question to you is how do you think that these two qualities are going to help you to excel in the career that you have chosen you are going to be a media professional right that's exactly what you yes, said you are studying media yes. science so it is expected that you want to pursue your career in media science can you please tell me that how these two qualities which you chose from all your potential lists is going to help you to excel in your career field Yes, ma'am. Ma I repeat the I... question. Okay. Uh, ma'am, if I do any work with full concentration that assigned to me, it can help me in future because whatever work uh, will assign me, uh, I can complete in a single day or the day that will assign to me. And if I am a good listener, uh, so uh, then I can do the work with full uh, means. uh with perfection mhm mm anything yeah. else you want to add up uh, anything else you want to add up as a call no ma'am okay prapti a humble suggestion to you is please remember that these questions are very generic questions right if you yeah. would have described yourself as very hard working and honest my question would have remained same that how your honesty and the nature of working hard can help you to excel in your career so please be very careful about the selection of words that with which you are framing your answer please put it in try to put it in this way that half of the problems of the world exist because they are not well stated and well listened i am a good listener so a attention full listening to any problem can solve it immediately so this skill can be utilized in terms of problem solving and i am a faithful producer of work which is very much needed in media industry because it is all about meeting deadlines and rendering the best quality of service this is how my attributes which i think is best as for me can help me to excel so please try to frame your answers in the best possible way you can so that the interview the interviewer get convinced okay you have to convince yes, somebody whoever is talking to you so you have to gain that conviction within yourself understood yeah yeah thank you my my last question no you cannot thank me so is really my last question to you is if i give you a bucket of wish list if i give you a bucket of wish list tell me the first yeah. one thing that you will pick up one thing from your wish bucket list that you will pick up ma'am i want to be financially free you want to be financially free ma'am so that i can okay. fulfill my all the rest of my dreams 
Okay. It was lovely talking to you. I wish you all the very best so that you become financially independent very soon and fulfill all the other things that are on your priority list 2 3 4 5 6 in your wish bucket. Thank you. And with this Vishal, uh, can we please move yeah. on to the Vrinda. next participant Vrinda please? Jan, please. Yeah. Yes, sir. Brinda. Hello, good evening. Good evening, ma'am. What are the first two things that you want to pick up from your wish bucket list? Ma'am, my first wish is to uh, is to become a successful business woman, and the second mm -hmm. thing is to travel a lot. Okay, Vishal sir is your role model for traveling a lot. You get inspired by seeing him. Ma'am, actually, I don't know about Vishal sir. Today only I came into contact with him. Okay, okay. So congratulations and let me tell you that you are in connection with a good person and it's a very effective person who has traveled a lot of the world for the sake of education. Okay, tell me one Thank thing you, that if you have come to LWT, you have come to us. Okay, so welcome to the LWT family. What made you joining Thank us? You, what made you joining us? Ma'am, actually yesterday I have, uh, I have uh, written an article and and luckily I have been that. So today I got an opportunity to attend this session lovely what are your expectations out of these sessions that you are having what are the expectation sets that you are coming with my, my expectations are to improve my communication skills and to know how to answer different types of questions okay have you heard the conversations that i have been having with the past participants so far yes ma'am yes ma'am could you have some takeaway message from the communications that you heard? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me any two of them? Ma'am, the first one is to uh, uh, ma'am, the first one is to uh, answer what 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 we know very well. Like uh, like one girl said that she wants to be an HR, but she actually don't know about uh, what is actually an HR. She does not know what exactly is the role of an HR. That is the correct framing yes, of the yes, sentence. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Carry on. Sorry. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah. And the second thing is to is to define our ability according. Uh, is to define our ability like uh, so uh, according to the next questions that we can answer. It's like we have said, the uh, like uh, honest and hard work so how can these help us in future so we should answer according to these things okay it was lovely talking to you my next and perhaps the last question to you is where do you want to see yourself in next five years from now ma'am from uh, from now uh, in the next five years i want to see myself as a good scholar like i'm in my bcom first year so it it is going to take five years to complete my studies my college then i want to be i want to do a good job uh, providing me a good salary handsome salary mm -hmm. and and gradually slowly and gradually i want to uh, become more and more successful what defines success to you Ma'am, success is uh, to have proper knowledge, to have some social status, to earn well, so that we can complete our basic basic uh, needs, also some luxuries. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Please think of the questions that you are asked right now, because these are the questions that are going to come in turn and again. As I repeat, whatever you state now becomes the next question for your next turn. Okay. So if yes, you are saying that you want to be successful, please ask yourself that what defines success to you because the interviewer is going to ask you today or tomorrow the same for sure. Okay. okay so if you are saying something because there is a psychometry test associated with it because same questions will yes, be asked to you in different turns and again. Okay, okay, so please be convinced with yourself so that your one answer does not contradict the answer for some other question. And that is taken as a disqualifier for the selection category of any candidate. Okay, okay? so please, okay, a good note 
on that particular issue thank you yes, and may thank we please so move on to the next yeah. thank you aritra mukherjee can we please move on yeah aritra mukherjee please send me good evening ma'am good evening aritra uh, so can you please tell me something about yourself in two three lines well i would like to say that uh, i am a person who uh, always loves to do something out of the box and also i am a person who loves to take risk okay uh, can you please tell me that where are you from and what do you do recently i am from kolkata and right now i am studying bba in entrepreneurship in ilit college and i am in first year that's wonderful what made you joining this program of bba in entrepreneurship because i want to become an entrepreneur in future okay so do you really think that this out of box thinking nature is going to help you a lot of being an entrepreneur yes ma'am because in order to become an entrepreneur you need to think out of the box that's wonderful what are the out of box things that you have so far done in your life so far uh, out of the box uh, i can say that i have uh, joined this course well i am saying this because my parents are not entrepreneurs but still i want to break the tradition and uh, do something out of the box my question to you was what are the things that you have joined done so far what are the things that you have done so far which you think is a kind of out of the box work well I've i have uh, start recently during the lockdown i have started reading uh, many entrepreneurship books uh, many books related with uh, related to money personal finance uh, i am saying this because uh, nowadays not a, a lot of uh, people like me love to read books they love to uh, see television play video games but i decide to do something else something different and i can say that uh, this one action i can say is out of the box and also i am doing many side courses along with the entrepreneurship course or it's my next question to you is you defined yourself as a risk taker there are many yes. instances when we take risks and we fail can you please just recollect one such incident where you have taken risk and you have failed not till now you want me to believe that whatever you have tried so far you have succeeded in everything you did not fail no, in no, any, no. any one no, of no, the instances i am not telling about succeeding or failing but uh... my question is about failing that you have taken risk and you have failed there are a lot of instances in life when we all do fail and the, and we learn from there right yes ma'am we get our biggest lessons out of our failures do you agree i beg your pardon uh there are many instances in life where we try and we fail and yes, we take course, our lessons course. out and we take our lessons out of that failure do you agree yes ma'am of course okay then you must have also failed in something that you have tried can you recollect one such incident when you have failed recently what was your last failure well uh, my last failure would be i honestly speaking i failed to achieve satisfactory marks in my class 12 board exam that okay. would be my failure okay okay thank you for being honest orithro the last question to you is what defines success to you happiness lovely happy if you are given options as happiness establishment relation how will you arrange them as per your priority i repeat the options happiness establishment relation three options how will you arrange them as 1 2 3 with as your priority ma'am uh, establishment in the sense establishment in the sense of uh, social money. societal establishment is in in conventional it can be anything it can be social repute it can be money it can be anything it comes as a uh, it comes as a package money good whole house good car uh, good uh, family status good societal entitlement everything first you have given you have been given three options you have to arrange them as per your priority 1 2 3 first well i would choose uh, establishment first then uh, relationship and then happiness because i am saying this because in order to be happy first you need money because without 
any money in your pocket, you can't be happy. And then you need a good relationship. And then when you get both of them, at last you become happy. Okay. So this basically alters the definition of success that you have already given. I would like to repeat the same suggestions that I have given to the earlier girl. Please take a good note on that. And with this, we will move on to our next participant, please. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Anisha, please. Very good evening, ma'am. Yeah, very good evening. Uh, can you please tell me that where are you from and what do you do? Um, I'm Anisha Jaiswal. I've completed my school. Means schooling this year, and currently I'm pursuing BBA from Ireland Institution. Are you from Kolkata? Yes, I'm from Kolkata. Actually, ma'am, I'm brought and brought, uh, born and brought up in Kolkata, but my origins and my roots are from UP. That is Banaras, Banaras UP. Okay, Banaras is uh, said to be one of the most ancient cities of the world, right? Yeah. How do you how do you define your hometown? Ma'am, uh, my hometown is Kolkata. I just said that my roots are from Banaras. My, um, that was my only question to you, Anisha. Mm -hmm. Please be patient to the question. My question to you was, how do you define your hometown to somebody? My question was not, okay. what is uh, okay. a hometown to you? My question okay. was, how do you define your hometown to somebody? Uh, well, my hometown like first of all my hometown is Kolkata and if you're visiting Kolkata then you don't have to be worried about your security because it is proven that Kolkata is the most securest place in India so feel free to come over here it is a place where you will it is actually mini India you will find every type of people every religion every celebration and with full excitement and full enthusiasm Thank you. Your answer shows that you are in love with the city and you have a heart connect to the city itself. So uh, I really appreciate the work that you came up with. Can you please tell me that if you are given some power in terms of anything, be it political, be it societal, be it financial, anything, two certain things that you would like to change about Kolkata? Change about Kolkata? Power, yeah, first I will what change. What would be my... the two things that you would like to change? Uh, sorry, ma'am. Uh, I was actually muted and got muted. Firstly, I will just uh, remove Mamta Banerjee from her position. And second, and I don't think uh, Kolkata needs any more changes. It's best in its own way. My humble request to you, Anisha, you are a young girl. So it is very expected that you will be very upright and open and honest in whatever you think. But please make sure that whenever you are talking in an interview panel, you need to be neutral. You may, we all are opinionated in our own way. And there is nothing wrong in having judgmental opinions about something. But you are a sensible girl. You are a very warm uh, human being as you sound. Please remember in mind that whenever you are going and talking to somebody, you are representing something. You are representing your family, you're representing your organization. More than that, you are representing your Self. So please, even if you have some judgmental opinions, make sure that you do not bring it clearly as a mentioning in your answer. I hope you understand what I mean, right? Yes, ma'am. You could have put it in this way that I would like to change the culture of the power game that the political parties are used to for the last 40 years. I want to have a neutral government which would be of the people, by the people, and for the people. That could be a realistic and a beautiful situation. This change I want to bring to my city because if the governmental policies and the orientation of power changes, the life of the citizens will change automatically. And nothing can be a better gift than this as a citizen to me. This could be your answer. You actually can say the same thing, right? But you but I sound you, you very... put it in a you put it no. in a different way. Are you getting my point? Yes, ma'am. This diplomacy beta, you will have to practice. Can't be said. Straightforward. <laughs> Straightforward everywhere. Better you don't be. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Better you don't be. Okay, Vishal, can we please move on to the next participant, please? Thank uh, you, ma'am. Rajneesh. Mishra, Thank you. Thank you. Please unmute. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Rajneesh. Yeah, good evening, Rajneesh. Where are you from and what do you do? 
मैम आई एम फ्रॉम यूपी भदोही नियर टू वाराणसी कम्पलीटेड माई मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स आई कम्पलीटेड जस्ट बैचलर इन एजुकेशन आई वॉन्ट टू बी अ गुड इकोनॉमिक्स एंड मैथमेटिशन एज वेल ओके can you please tell me that what made you joining us uh ma'am uh, i want means i want to learn more and more uh, uh means uh, my english fluency uh, i want make it perfect and uh, means perfect means uh, i want to be a good uh, communicator okay what do you think that you should do to increase the fluency of your english communication ma'am uh, i think uh, it can be happened by practice and Okay. Do you have somebody with thing. whom you can practice English communication? Do you have somebody in your home with whom you can practice English communication? No, ma'am. Uh, here is no anyone like this uh, who can practice with me. But uh, I am mm-hmm. trying. With my classmates okay. and with colleagues. Uh, and, and Very good. Practicing. Yes, ma'am. If you are given power. what are the first two recent incidents in up that you'd like to change like you just want to rub it from the history of up recent two yes, incidents yes ma'am uh, where i where i think uh, means uh, recently or past in past uh, i want to change some means basic needs uh, means some there is lot of uh bpl persons in below poverty line there is lot of lives who lives in uh, below poverty line so i want to change some basic needs means a uh, homeless person i want to means to distribute some home and basic needs i want to serve basic needs if i uh, if i serve basic needs for the person then second i can think something else for them okay i i got your answer but a humble suggestion i would like to give you please practice more of communication just enhance the amount of english words and english sentences that you speak per day okay because what's happening is you were thinking something else and you were saying something else okay hum log jo bolte hai aur jo sochte hai un dono ke andar agar ek antar ho jata hai to communication mein ek khinch aa jata hai that is happening with you you are thinking something and you are saying something that can only be eliminated through repeated practices okay please you are on the correct track please do practice more of communication with us with your friends and with your colleagues whoever you have if you have nobody around you stand in front of a mirror and start talking in english to yourself okay that is going okay. to help you a lot we shall okay. can we please move on to the next candidate please yeah Let's do Shubhajit. Yeah, Shubhajit, good evening. Where are you from and what do you do? Uh, good evening, ma'am. I am from Calcutta and I am studying in IIT. I am pursuing BBA in entrepreneurship. Oh, lovely. So Aristu is a friend of yours. He is a classmate of mine. We are yeah together. What is the difference between a classmate and a friend? A friend is someone who is a little bit closer than a classmate. Classmate, you only know through, like the, your how to explain. like uh, a friend is someone whom you share your secrets with and uh, whom you talk to on a daily basis but a classmate is someone whom you talk to when you are uh, doing some assignment discussion let's say or uh, you have given uh, we have been given some kind of test is coming up so you are studying with them. i got your Something answer like i got your answer so how do you define or you throw as a classmate or as a friend because we have met very recently so i'll define him as a classmate for now but let's see uh, if the friendship develops thank you develops. thank you i i understood that you are a very straightforward and a very convinced person you have clarity in your thoughts and you know exactly what you think and what you are uh, articulating can you please tell me that what are the three attributes that you consider in yourself which suits the qualities of an entrepreneur the first three thing attributes. first uh, yes ma'am first thing first i am a person who is very much interested in learning learning different thing it might not be related to the thing i'm studying right now but still i would want to learn it and i think mm-hmm. it will be it will be very helpful in my future because entrepreneurship is i think it is all about change change is the only constant i believe in entrepreneurship because we have to keep on innovating we have to keep on looking at our surrounding and taking information from there gathering information and implementing it in our businesses so i think this quality of mind will help me a lot and uh, to this extent i have started uh, I'm doing many courses. 
this like i am doing communi- a communication i am doing this lwt i am doing a digital marketing course i am doing i am learning python at the same time uh, and uh, other qualities of mine would be i am very hard working and i can do multitasking very well okay a humble suggestion that even if you have a lot of explanations in your bucket please it actually justifies your answers to a great extent please keep them in your store for the next questions to be asked the question to you was define three qualities of yours which defines you as a good entrepreneur okay so if you define it in this way that i am an ardent learner i am somebody who is a multitasking person and you are somebody who is a risk taker so please keep your answers in a kiss form k i s s keep it short and simple the explanation comes automatically out of it but if you elaborate one point with lengthy lengthy and hard hard words and sentences the answers get often lost in it okay you will have lot of questions to answer in the next sessions but as of now when you start with the interaction process and uh, the communicational phase please remember the answer should be specific to the question because specific answering helps the other party to understand at the same time triggers the interest to know you more you got my point shivajit yes ma'am yes this this is a very basic of the communication rules we shall uh, should we move on to somebody next uh, yes we can do uh, yuvraj are you there Yes. yes sir maybe your Good father can form. do yeah please sorry yeah, sorry please. yeah no yuraj's father also uses the same device he's a english teacher he wants to improve yeah 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 actually day. last yeah. day i was supposed to talk to him last day i was we supposed to him talk him. to him so yes, shall i talk please yeah so shall i talk to, to his father first yeah 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 please uh, good evening ma'am shall i talk to his father first yes sir he's there good evening sir Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, sir. Belated good evening, happy ma'am. Happy Diwali to you. Good evening Same and a belated you. happy Diwali to you. Oh, okay. Same to you, ma'am. I heard from yeah. You have. Thank you, thank you. So you have something to share with us, sir? Ah, uh, actually, um, uh, according to today's topic, ah, uh, I have shared my. on opinion to sir and uh, there is nothing for today to share with you but i i i did not listen to your statements when you stated it to sir so can you please repeat it for me once what yes, is in ma'am. your bucket list what yes, is ma'am. in your bucket list yes ma'am uh, actually i want to be a very successful motivational speaker as a uh, and uh, i want to travel uh, uh, most of the countries in the world as a, as a motivational speaker to deliver my thoughts and speeches and uh, uh, the person who has influenced my life the most is none other than apj abdul kalam Uh, and he is role model for me uh, as a motivational speaker as a good man as a good person and this is what i am aiming to do in coming future and this is uh, the biggest dream uh, for me to be a very successful motivational speaker especially in english language okay so you want to be a motivational speaker that's what you said why motivation is so important in anybody's life to succeed uh, motivation is the key to be successful in anyone's life and for getting motivation everybody should have a uh, dream that is very necessary for getting motivation all the time by by self and uh, most of the people don't have their own dream and they make their dream but uh, 
uh, you can see and feel that uh, most of the people don't have their dream and and others are that uh, they make not very big dream very small dream for themselves and okay sir sir uh, a very a very humble i i understood dream, i understood i understood a very humble suggestion to you is the same suggestion that i gave to shubhodit and few other students as well please keep the sentences short because when our fluencies are not at par the need of the communication and we make long sentences what happens is the listener gets lost in the long sentence the meaning of the intention of the statement gets lost okay so if you are okay, saying that motivation you. is very important please keep the sentences short like you can you can put it in this way like uh, motivation is something which is the key to success many right. of us just leave life as a checklist most of us do not have dreams of our own even we have dreams they are very small ones that cannot take us to a great height in order to succeed in life we need to have big dreams to chase and bigger motivation to push ourselves to make those dreams a reality i am just repeating oh, your answer I... are you getting my point sir yes ma'am yeah yes ma'am you are making all um, all these things in a very short and uh, very communicative way and this is what it is very easy to understand and it is taking this is very exactly less what time. you have to do yes ma'am yes ma'am it is time yes, consuming it is easy to understand for any listener i am just repeating your answer sir i am yes, just yes, repeating yes, your answer i you are repeating the this same thing this is something thing, that but, you need uh, to yes yes this is the only yes, thing that you have to practice with you braj that will help both of you you and the child as well okay okay ma'am thank you thank you sir thank you so okay so i think we are out of time for today so yeah. thank you chandrima ma'am and we'll resume our classes tomorrow same time same link okay. thank you vishal sir thank you thank you good night everyone bye good night everyone thank you everyone